have one outlet for this entire room. So we've plugged in a power strip and we have all of this plugged in and I know that can't be safe. Well, the, when the electricity came into this room, one outlet was acceptable. There weren't a lot of things to plug in, but now you have a lot of things. You yeah. have cable boxes, radios, televisions, but I don't like this at all. It's a plug strip. It has a potential for an overload. You can see all these cords here. The cords are tripping hazards. Look at this. But also, I don't like this. A lot of people do it, but I don't like it. You have a cord going underneath a carpet. What happens is, as you walk on that carpet, it goes back and forth, and what's gonna happen is, you're gonna expose the copper wiring, and the copper wiring could actually touch each other, an arc, and that could cause a fire, so that's not good. Oh. So what I could do is put an outlet where you need it. We'll put one here, put one for the TV, put one over there, everywhere, we'll get going on that. What do you think? Oh, that sounds great. All right, super, let's get started. To get started, I use this insulation rod to locate for any pipes or obstructions in the basement. The rod actually goes through the floor and I can see it from down below. What is that, a drill bit? Not really. It's what they call an insulation rod. It's got a sharp point on it right here. And it's very flexible but strong. And we put it on the end of a drill and we use it as a drill bit. Now, we need to put an outlet about every 12 feet. This will cover these two walls. So what we would normally do is we would cut into this wall, which is probably lath and plaster and horse hair and real old and brittle. But we would put that at 18 inches. What I'd like to do for you to match the other outlet in the room is put it right here in the baseboard. Yeah, that would look great. All right, I'm gonna trace it out and get started. So this house is balloon framed. What it means is that the studs carry from the roof all the way down to this sill in the basement. Normally there's a plate and then the studs stop. It makes it a lot harder to drill, but in this case there's no drilling involved at all. Nisi, look for the wire, okay? Okay. Got it. Okay, pull about four feet. Now I can strip the insulation off these wires and put them right into the electrical box. All right, we are ready to install the outlets. What I've brought for you here, it's not a regular outlet. It's called tamper resistant or TR. And you can see these shields right here. Oh yeah. Those actually prevent any foreign object from going inside and possibly electrocuting somebody. So I brought a paper clip and you can see that there's really no way to get it inside the hole. It has to have two, just like on a plug, okay. and they have to go in just like that at the same time. Oh, and therefore wow. it'll prevent anyone getting hurt. One set of black and white wires is the power from the panel, and the other set feeds out to the other receptacles in the room. I first attach the white wires to the silver screws, then the black wires to the brass screws, and then I'll attach the ground. When I use metal boxes, I like to tape up the receptacle for safety so that it doesn't hit the box. I'm using a brown outlet and a brown plate to blend in nicely with the woodwork. Now I'm gonna install the other outlets about every 12 feet.
This is a floor outlet that's specially designed. It has a brass plate with these brass lids. And these lids cover up the outlet when it's not being used to protect it from dirt and dust. Great. I also want to hide the audio-visual wires that go up to the TV. These HDMI wires here, they go up through the wall and they come out this low voltage plate here. And then right next to it, behind the television, is going to be this outlet here. So everything, when the TV's pushed in, you won't see it. That's great. This outlet has surge protection built right in. It'll protect your television from any surges or spikes in voltage. So I've run the wire over from the other side of the house. This is a dedicated circuit. Bring it right into the electrical panel. I've de-energized the whole panel by shutting off the main breaker. So there's no power here at this panel. I'm using an arc fault breaker, which will detect any sparks or flashes on this circuit. I attach the white and the black wire directly to the circuit breaker. The white wire from the circuit breaker gets tied directly onto the neutral bar, and so does the ground. All right, Nisi, the power is back on, and I've put the outlets everywhere you need them. We have one here behind the TV, one down for the entertainment system, and I've put a couple throughout the room. And remember, we have this one behind the couch for this lamp in the floor. Mm -hmm.